Hello everybody, my name is Lush Eisner and welcome to the Canadian Money Talk, the channel about Canadian investing in personal finance. Please like and subscribe. I put out a video per week, so make sure you ring the notification bell to get notified each time one comes out. With the RRSP season around the corner, there are various things you can do regarding your RRSP purchase. So let's say you have $10,000 in cash. Let's see how we can use that in an RRSP. Well, you can spend the refund. So you take your $10,000 in cash, you are at a 30% uh, marginal tax rate, so you're going to get a $3,000 refund. Uh, you choose to spend that refund, so the total contributed to the RSP will just be that $10,000. Well, let's say you would instead try to put more money into the RSP, so you use the refund for next year's RSP deduction so you have the same ten thousand in cash you get the same three thousand in a refund but you will contribute it to the rsp for next year so you contributed thirteen thousand to your rsp but there's uh even uh a, a more aggressive shall we say method uh, to put more money into your RRSP. It's called the gross-up contribution. And what it does is you use an RRSP loan uh, to invest more into your RRSP, and then you use the refund that you receive to pay down the loan. So your contribution is going to be the 10000 in cash, and then... 4,286 in an RSP loan. So you're contributing 14,286 at your 30% marginal tax rate. You get a tax refund of the uh, 4,286, which is the uh, exact amount of the loan. So the refund is used to pay off the loan and your total contribution will have been 14,286. Uh, it's uh, almost 43% higher than if you hadn't borrowed. You'll notice that there's no interest being charged here because if you time things correctly, uh, you may not actually get uh, any interest charged on the loan before you're able to pay it off with the refund. The RRSP gross up is a strategy that can be used to increase and maximize your RRSP contribution by taking out a short term RRSP loan and paying it back before the monthly payments are scheduled to begin. Sometimes there's a promotion where they delay the monthly payments uh, at your bank uh, for the loan. So the loan amount is calculated as the cash amount that you have times the tax rate all divided by uh, one minus your tax rate. If you select an RSP loan with the option to defer payments, you should have sufficient time to receive your tax refund and apply it against the loan before your first payment is due, paying no interest. Please note that RSP loan interest is not tax deductible because the CRA considers the RSP a taxed advantage account already. There are five keys for the strategy uh, to be implemented successfully. One, a portion of the RSP contribution must not be borrowed money. Two, the expected tax refund should be the same as the amount borrowed, not including interest. Three, the tax refund must be used immediately to pay off the RSP loan. Four, there must not be any outstanding personal tax liabilities since those would reduce the tax refund. And five, any home buyer's plan or lifelong learning plan repayments must be considered separately from the strategy as they will not generate a tax refund. Borrowing to invest increases the risk of the investment, and if you lose money in the RSP, you will not be able to write off the loss in any way. So that's the RSP gross up. If you have any requests on what you'd like me to cover in future videos, please put that in the comment section. If you'd like to get in touch, please reach out on any of the social media channels. 
and may you have a profitable day.